What's up, fishy friends? Welcome to Tim's School of Fish and Classes in Session. My everyday carry sucks. I suck at EDC. I am a terrible EDC guy. But recently, I've been working on that. I've been going down the EDC rabbit hole a little bit. So a lot of you guys are already familiar with this stuff, but I'm just discovering some new stuff for the very first time. I got that Viperaid VE1 pouch, and I loved it so much that I went out and I got a few more pouches of different sizes and materials to try out. I'm really digging them. It's really upped my EDC game. Feeling good about myself. Maybe I won't suck forever maybe i will but today i want to take a look at the maxpedition edc pouch i think they call it the maxpedition edc pocket organizer or something it's a pouch a clamshell zipper pouch and i like it so today we're gonna take a look at it so without further ado let's get this camera turned around and take a closer look all right, so I've talked about it before. I'm basically just a knife guy. In the past, my EDC carry has been a modern knife, a slip joint knife, my keys, my wallet, my phone, that's about it. Every once in a while, a napkin stuffed down in my pocket or a pen somewhere, maybe a Zippo lighter, but that's about it. I haven't really thought about EDC in that way. I was always one, if I needed something, I would stop, get it, borrow it, ask for it, find it, whatever. But I've been trying to up my EDC game. So I went out and I got this Viperade VE1 pouch. This is four inches by six inches. It's just got one, two, three, four slip pockets on the front, a few different size ones here, a little bit of webbing, big one there in the back, and a small zipper pouch in the back for cards, money, whatever you want to throw back there, right? Pretty basic. Fits in my back pocket perfectly. Typically load this out with a modern knife, slip joint, pen, Tim School of Fish, field jotter, uh, a little pry bar tool, maybe a multi-tool, and whatever. Cards back here, a hank, a zippo. I like this so much that I went out and I got this Maxpedition EDC Pocket Organizer, I think is the, the actual name of it. Now, full disclosure, it comes with black paracord pulls on the zippers. I changed that out. I wanted to see what it would look like with a little pop of color or something. I'm not sure how I feel about those. I might change it to a different color of paracord. I might leave it. I don't know. I just wanted to play around with it and see how it looked. It is five by seven inches, whereas this Viper Aid is four by six inches. On the front here, we've got the your standard two by three uh, loop field. I have been just slapping that one on there for the time being 1776 because america damn it mesh webbing here with a hook and loop closure it's not ykk zippers on here but the zippers are very very smooth uh no problems with those at all back here we've got a handle and some molly webbing attachment point this is made out of nylon i don't know what kind of nylon I'm not a nylon expert, but I can tell you that it is very well made. The stitching is quality. Look, I'm not a tailor, I'm not a seamstress, I'm not an expert, but you can tell when something is quality stitched and quality built, and this is quality. When you open it up on the left side here, we've got one, two, three bigger elastic um, loops here and then one two three four five six smaller elastic loops so a total of nine on the left side we've got a big slip pocket here in the back and we've got a little clip for some keys or whatever on the right hand side we've got an attachment point here where you can attach a multi-tool keys whatever you want we've got two big elastic loops and four smaller ones for a total of six so let me show you how I load this out. I've been carrying my Tim School of Fish field jotter with me. I am forever writing stuff down, but in the past I would just grab a scrap of paper, a note card laying around the back of a receipt or something. Just stupid, right? So now I carry that with me. Of course, if you have that, you've got to have a mini pen. Now, I'm not into the titanium pens and all that kind of stuff. 
I probably never will be, to be honest. I am more particular about how a pen writes than how it looks and how long it's going to last. I don't need a pen that's going to last a lifetime and cost 60 bucks. Look, if that's what you want to do, that's cool. I want a pen that's going to write well and feel good when I write. I'm weird that way. If it's scratchy on the paper or it just doesn't flow, I don't like so it. These Pilot G2 pens, they are not my favorite. My favorite pens are the Pentel Inner Gel Metal Tip pens, but this is probably the next best choice and it always has to be blue. I'm weird that way. I don't prefer black ink. I prefer blue ink. So my pen goes in one of the small pockets over here on the side. On the um, little clip here, I don't hang my keys. What I do is attach my doohickey multi-tool and then that gets tucked down in here. My little mini pry bar. Um, some chapstick or Blistex or Carmex or something. My wife buys these all the time, like in three packs, five packs, whatever. She uses a lot more of it than I do. So berry, citrus, cider, this is something she got at Christmas. Here's what's funny. I saw on Marine X's channel that some guys were giving him crap in the comments for carrying lip balm. That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life. Really, fellas? Really? Are you that uncomfortable with your masculinity that you have a problem with freaking chapstick? Man, people's skin gets cracked and blistered and it hurts and it's windy and it's sunny. A lot of us live in a windy environment or a sunny environment and not taking care of yourself is just stupid. So to give somebody shit for carrying a chapstick, bro, that is weak. That is weak. Quit being such a freaking wuss. It's not lipstick. Put some damn lip balm on your lips if they're freaking cracked. Okay, rant over. Good grief. I couldn't believe that when I heard it. That's the dumbest crap I've ever heard. So I carry some sort of chapstick or Blistex or whatever I might have around that I steal from my wife. Uh, then I always gotta have fire. I prefer Zippo. I've gotten comments in the comment section. Why would you carry a Zippo that just freaking bear runs out of fuel and bear, 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 bear. I think it was on that Viper Aid video. Somebody said, a chick with a Swiss Army knife and a Bic lighter is better prepared than you. Bro, kick rocks. Pound sand, that's stupid. I like a Zippo. And you know what? If you just put two or three seconds of fuel in it every other day, it's not going to run out of fuel. And there's several ways to prevent the evaporation of the fuel. So kick rocks, bro. That's just dumb. I'll typically put a few little Band-Aids, right? A couple different sizes. Nothing major, just something for little boo-boos. If the kids get a little scrape, or if I do, I will have some sort of modern knife. I always carry a modern knife and a traditional knife every day. Sometimes I'll carry a, a fixed blade and a traditional slip joint knife. Uh, in here, I've got some small fixed blades I could load it out with. We're going to go with this modern knife. This is the EMP EDC Relative. Absolutely love this knife. So, these elastic loops on this side, these two big elastic loops are, are big enough to handle any of your modern knives. And then I will go with some sort of slip joint as well. This is the Kershaw Cold Pepper. So I will put that one in there. And then last but not least, some Hank. Put it right there. So this is my typical loadout for right now. When this thing is full, there's a lot more room to really load this out if you want to. I know a lot of guys carry flashlights with them. I have a flashlight in my car. It hasn't made it to my pouch and on my person yet. Maybe it will at some point, but currently flashlights staged around the house, in the car, in the truck. But I still have room for a small stream light or something if I choose to do that. Plenty of room left inside this pouch when it's loaded out the way I have it loaded out. If it's gonna be a short trip, right, and I'm only gonna be gone for an hour or two, it's this one. Boom, I'll, I'll throw my wallet back here or my debit card and my driver's license. 
that goes right in my back pocket and that goes with me if I'm only going to be gone for a little while. If I know that I'm leaving for the day and I'm going to be gone a little bit longer, right? And so I might need more stuff than if I'm just gone an hour or two and something can wait. I will take this. This will fit in my back pocket, right? It'll slide right down in the back pocket of my pants or my jeans. Now it's going to stick out some, whereas this one doesn't stick out as much, but it still slides right in the back pocket. And if I'm walking around, it's perfectly comfortable. That's what I'm going with. Trying to up my EDC game a little bit. Just wanted to share that with you guys today. I'm really digging this Maxpedition pouch. It's extremely well made. Plenty of room. Still fits in the pocket. I love it. I think it's awesome. Just wanted to share that with you guys today. As always, I appreciate you for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Drop me a comment down in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this Maxpedition EDC pouch. Let me know if you carry a pouch. Let me know what you think about my crappy loadout crap. Am I getting better at EDC or do I still suck? I think I'm getting better. You might think I still suck. That's cool because I don't freaking care. I'm salty today, guys. I don't know. I'm grouchy. I'm still, I got this stuffy nose. I must have woke up on the wrong side of the bed. So, yeah, I'm a little bit, little bit salty today. Anyway, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Just click my logo right over there. That's it for this episode of Tim School Fish, boys and girls. Class dismissed.